In the darkness lies Dix. And welcome to the Let's Play of Resident Evil. We have just in, uh, started the second disc of the game, which is actually very short in comparison with the rest of it. And we will now begin to explore the secret underground laboratory. So let's see what awaits us beyond these doors. Oh, hang on. What's this? More kerosene. Man, I thought I'd seen the last of that. Oh, and zombies. I'll use the old shoot and stab tactic. not dead. I'm used to billion bullets. Oh, whatever. I just shove a grenade in his mouth. There's another zombie around. Oh, herb. Why not? <laughs> okay, and there's another zombie around. I think he's... I think he's around the corner. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, hey, buddy. I'm closer. So let's look. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. Awesome. I don't know if I have to. Oh, hello. I can stab him. Never mind. Oh, whatever. Why is I use the grenades? Any time now. This is another mini disc. Oh. It appears to be a disc for routing a system of some sort. I might as well put away these herbs I just found. I'll need to go back and unlock that door at some point. Maybe I should start bringing my magnum in place of my pistol. My pistol's not doing a lot. I'll use up some of the more ammo I found though, because I found a lot of pistol ammo in the mines, so I might as well use them. I think this is pretty near the end of the game, so I'm thinking why not? I might as well use some of these more explosive ammo. I'm swimming in herbs at the moment, so it's just too bad you can't really carry a lot of it. Let's go. And I think I might need these at some point. Are there any difference between these rebooting system? No. They're exactly the same. I wonder what they're used for again. I can't even remember. Um. I guess I'll carry. Let's see. I'll, I'll wait till I need to use them before I carry them around uselessly. Otherwise, I'll probably come across a billion items and not really use them a lot. Or something. So we should go downstairs where we have not explored yet. That door's locked. We'll probably put an actual gun. Music stopped. Ooh, zombies. I should need to pull this room first. Oh, and an item here. I will take the first aid box. I'll examine the first aid box. 
and I shall have two green herbs. I'm not complaining, I suppose. What else is here? It's locked. It's locked. There seems to be some device here. I think it's releasing the door box. Now, if we just release the locks on these levers, hmm. Looks like I'll have to unlock it. But they're locked. Nothing else in this corridor. But there is this room to the. this side. I was gonna say left to right, but the camera angle changes around so much I often lose track. X-ray room. I think I remember this puzzle. You have to arrange the X-rays. Pick up the X-ray. Place it here. Oops. There we are. Clark David. And a part of it is showing red. I will not take it. Hmm. Something here. Oh, another X-ray. A memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Huh. Well, that should be easy enough. What have we got here? We've got Alex Betchett with his glowing red colon. Clark David with his glowing red esophagus, I think. Ed Fisher with his liver. And the last one goes here, which belongs to Gail Holland. So once I put this here, they are in alphabetical order, and indeed, there should be a part showing. So this one's the colon, this one's the esophagus, oh, is it the wimp? No, it's esophagus, of course. Go straight. Nope. And this one is the liver. And this last one is the lungs. No. Oh well, I should probably write them down. Just in a second. So that's colon, esophagus, liver, and lung. There. Now. Let's see what else there is. Researcher's letter. June 8, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. Oh, I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to become one of them. Whoops. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material to the visual data room. Then, activate self-destruct system in the power room and escape from there. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded a password into an x-ray picture, a Rowan Tanagram. I know you and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There is one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but I'll, but if you do happen to run in on me in my hideous form, I beg of you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John Ada! Thinks Chris aloud in his head. I don't know why I turned it off, but... So clearly it's in that order, and uh, I've got to, to go, go back outside, I guess. Is there anything else in this room? Nope. Let's go. Okay. Let's think. 
it's unlocked. So the password's not used here. I think it's a bit later on. I forget exactly. But we shall now go outside to the room, which is full of zombies. Alright, bitches. Die. Ah, hey! And that little, that little stunning animation makes me think he's dead. I want to stab him off. Oh, the fact that I'm also aiming to that zombie means he's obviously dead. Let me do this to you, man. Shit. How many bullets was that? Nine bullets! And he's still not dead! Damn, this pistol's useless. Well, I'm gonna go upstairs and grab those, uh, kerosene. And... To finish pistol ammo, I suppose. to those zombies so they don't become crimson heads. I know they give I know I'm not gonna be here for it. I know this is a relatively short part of the game, but it's given me kerosene for a reason. So crimson headings are gonna happen. Oops I should feel burn these bodies. I don't think I really burned a lot of bodies when I was being uh, Jill. Uh, partially because um, you had to carry both the kerosene and the fuel and the lighter because Jill doesn't have a separate item slot for the lighter. Um, so that basically means you consume two item slots, leaving you with only six free item slots. I mean, really, how can you play the game with six item slots? I think that should be this room cleared of any threats. Still some items to pick up. What is there? Why not? A dagger. Can always do with stabbing more zombies in the head. The shelves are lined with large and small containers. Tiny eggs cling to the side of the containers. Ew! Gross. What's this place? It's locked. A symbol resembling a power area is carved and unlocked. Well, a key. Maybe power or something. And it looks like this door ahead is the only one that's not locked, so let's enter it. Some creepy ass camera angles. Looks like some kind of room. Part of a corpse lies on the operating table. Uh, row of LCD monitors. They must have once been used to display some. Well, what else would they have been used for? Decoration. Oh, and that has its own operating system. So let's put in the username, which is John. And the password is A. <laughs> it sounded like it was about to explode. Would have been an awesome computer log on. And which one's which? What do I do? Oh, password. Ah, now this one should be the password I found earlier. So it's colon, esophagus, and liver. So it's C or colon, I guess? And then O, and then L. Ah. Huh. What else would it be? Let's try this one. This one doesn't need a password. And that unlocks some room I can't quite make out because of the poor wireframe, but I'm sure I can just look on my map and find out which room it is. July 24th is Chinkawa's birthday? What? Oh, well. Um. Let's try again. Um. Colon. Is it possible? 
last word. Colon, esophagus, liver, lung. What am I doing? See, uh, colon, esophagus, liver, and lung. Unless it's like rectum or something. So maybe it's R. It's R. There it is. Yeah, so it's be rectum or esophagus. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Rectum, esophagus, liver, and lung. There we are. Still nothing. Mm, let's give it another try later. Oh boy, V act. Researchers note another virus or something. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it all becomes more agile and aggressive. Already, four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it, and termination is definitely not an option. Because obviously destroying something that dangerous is silly, so we shall freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery? What? What the fuck? Freezing it and then putting it in the back yard or something. Why? What is this? This is the dead bodies on these. What's this? Oh, grenade. Cool. Look, there's dead bodies right here. Why can't I just kept them along with this? The cadavers are frozen and wrapped in body bags. See, these things won't turn into zombies because they're frozen. What do you do? You freeze the crimson head, which you know has to kill people, and then you put him in the backyard to defrost. Have you not used a fucking fridge before? Oh well. Let's try this password again, because I'm sure it's supposed to be the first letter of each one. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Let's uh, come back later. Let's see what we did unlock then. Still something in this room. What's in here? <laughs> oh hey, okay. Let's say no to that. Mm, monitor used to display images from an electron microscope. Robots view monitors. Oh, it's still red, but I assume that's because of the computer, which I can't seem to access. I wonder why. I swear, this didn't take me this long to figure out Jill's campaign, unless they've changed it or something. So I've unlocked, yeah, that room in the corridor I was in earlier. Not that one, though. Or that one. Okay, let's go. Should be this room, which is now... Let me just check that room. I want to make sure I read it right. Maybe it was labeling or something, I don't know. Turn these on. Yeah, part of it's going red. See, that's the cone. There's the esophagus, liver, lung. Colon, or rectum, I guess, esophagus, liver, definitely liver, and the, definitely the lungs. So what am I doing wrong? Uh. There's nothing 
anything else in this room either. Uh, I'm sure it'll reveal itself to me eventually. Probably something really simple and really stupid that I've missed out or something. Oh, hello, a zombie. Naked zombie. Die. Whoops. Die. <laughs> awesome. What's in here? Oh, hey, more magnum rounds. Maybe I should start using the magnum more. An x-ray photograph. A skeleton structure that isn't quite human. What's this? It seems to be behind a sturdy door. Open it? No. Big warning signs scare me slightly. And Facts! To Sanitation Division. Manager of Sanitation. Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of the tax facts are confidential and are intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading, the contents of this fax must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern. More than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our security secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Uh, third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside this compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We re strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Well, how about that? And a security system passcode transmission device. It's a fancy looking GameCube. Oh, looks like I'll need the MO disc. So I guess, uh. I guess that's it. Is there anything else in this room? Okay. Let's grab us some MO discs. And while we're here. Let's use this because goddamn look at all these magnum bullets. Let's get some MO discs. <laughs> Alright, let's blow some shit up. Let's use this disc. Cool. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Nothing with Chris's strange third person brain abilities. You can see outside of the room when it did it. Now. Let us go get the other disc, I suppose. Necessary. What? Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that I can only use one MO disc in one machine. That must mean there's more of them around. Damn. One 
might as well see what this does. One down, two to go. What else is there? I guess I can't use this yet, I might as well... Hmm. Let's see what else there is in here. Clearly this is still red, so I might be missing something. Can't use that again. Maybe it's this. No. Around here. Oh, hello. The slide filter. Maybe there's something in here too. Warning! Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. That looks like a refueling device. Well, that's a handy tip for the future. Don't jar or shake fuel, it will explode. Hopefully we won't have to find out the hard way. Alright. What could it be? How can it not be the first letter of each word? What is it? I've got colon, esophagus, liver, lung. I swear I'm doing this right. What do I do? Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go back to the x ray room. I'm sure there's a reason why none of this is working. Maybe you have to use this. Red colored slides inside. Nothing's on it. Probably nothing to do with the red x rays. It's not this. Possibly... The answer must be simple. What am I missing? Es esophagus? Esophagus? Is this colon? Or rectum? Es esophagus? Liver? Lung? Is this... Yeah, there's the colon. That's going red. There's the esophagus. What else is there? Liver? Lungs. I've got it written down right. What could I possibly have... What could the password possibly be? Is there another note I've missed? Let's see what the note says. There's something used to... Wait a minute. Esophagus? Esophagus! Esop- You motherfucker! Okay, now that, that, that's done. C-E-L-L. -L. Well, okay, well, now this door's unlocked. So now I should be able to go there, there. Now I should be able to go in here now. Who spells esophagus with E? <laughs> 